welcome to the channel. We're going to be getting back to a bit more of a tried and true what the channel is about for the most part. Uh, this is the workshop after all, so therefore it's kind of a in flux what's going on, what I am currently working on. But we're going to be getting back to some good old hatchets and axes today. So, on the platter for the evening is a undesignated axe head. Uh, this one is uh, for my boss actually. We're going to be going through and kind of reforging this and in an instance we're going to be cutting back some of the steel, just changing the geometry of it. I have uh, water on standby to keep it cool so that way we can maintain the temper that the blade already has so that way I don't have to retemper it. I'm going to throw a nice edge on it, play around with some of the edge geometry and make it a nice little bit of a all you like all you need universal kind of hatchet slash axe slash for fun throwing as well. So we're going to go through, clean this blade up a bit, change a little bit of the geometry of the edge, as well as we're going to cut back a little bit into the beard of it and give it a little bit more of a pronounced beard and have a little bit of fun with it. And I have a design idea for the handle a bit, kind of stole a few ideas a little here and there for some inspiration and hopefully you will enjoy. So. Let's hang it out.
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, now comes the finished product. And the dreaded time for me, and the real reason I don't do commissions too often is, is when I create something I really like, and I gotta let it go. It's gonna be hard tomorrow. I gotta, I gotta give this up and away to my boss who commissioned me to make it for him. And I don't know. I, I snagged the design idea for the flare and the grip, but it actually does work really good for like when you're choking up on it, if you're chopping on some kind of kindling or something, or if you were doing like full swing, or if you were to be throwing it like a hatchet. I really like the handle design. This is actually an augment between like three different styles I looked at for like a fireman's hatchet slash axe, how they kind of have that swell at the end. This part off of a other company's design of theirs, which was encompassing the full handle, so I'm not really stealing anything there. Plus also theirs is a full tang style, that's the style he showed me, so I definitely wanted to add that into it, and I think it turned out really well. Uh, apologize for the smoke effect that I was actually creating these, as you saw in the video earlier. It's smoky in here, and I still tried to like open the door and kick it out, and it's still lingering around. So, that's that build for you. I left a little bit more of a war damage. This kind of feels more like a warrior's hatchet. You know, it's it's been used, it's been through some stuff, and that's kind of the reason I didn't want to over polish it as well, is that if it is going to be thrown at targets, and it's going to be used, and it's not just going to go straight onto a wall for decoration, you kind of want to leave it a little beaten up. If you make it too perfect, you ain't going to want to use it. So I'm actually happy with that kind of end result to it, and I'm really happy with the end result overall of the entire build. It's just going to be hard again to give it up. <laughs> and hopefully you enjoy it. I definitely enjoyed building this uh, nice little fun hatchet. And if you did, be sure and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to know each time I come out with yet again another hatchet video, probably. I have a few more in the works. A little bit of a before and after kind of a stance there for you. This one had been sitting in a vinegar bath for a couple days before I actually got around to using it. And I pulled it out, cleaned it, and sat it down off to the side and said I would come back to it. Never ended up doing so. So I'm happy this hatchet head or axe head is actually able to come back to use. I have a couple more, a couple more ideas knocked around the old noggin as well. Those ones I might keep in the future, put up for wall decorum and background. As well as I will use them every now and again. Can't let it be fully on the wall for only decoration purpose. But thank you again. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.